Yo, this is Eternal Place, Pokemon Violet, and yes, it is Professor Turo you're seeing right in front of us. At the same time, it is not Professor Turo. We just learned last episode that the real Professor Turo is dead, and that in front of him, in front of us right there, is an AI robot of Professor Turo. This is a time machine, causing all these Iron Pokemon that we have seen to appear in Paldea, like Iron Treads and then with the ones we have seen in Area Zero. Question is though, how did they come here? The time machine sent them here, or sent them, they were captured in the timelines, the Pokeballs were sent to the time machine appearing here. Tura wanted them to live alongside Pokemon of the present, but he had learned that that's not going to work, it's too dangerous, it's too much damage can be caused, it's just not working. Now he wants to stop it. So now he wants us to stop it for him. But would it be that easy? Oh no. This is going to be climatic. It's going to be quite epic. So with that, let us go. With the epic finale of the main story of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's time to shut the time machine off. But will it even be shut off? That's the question. To stop the time machine, you need to use the professor's ID, which had been embedded within the Violet book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book, of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Violet book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I'll most likely attack you. Huh? Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I'll become no more of a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokémon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna fight AI Turo, or Professor Turo's AI robot body. But what Pokemon will he use, though? Well, this is going to be my team. The team I used to beat the lead four with. And we're ready. Let's go. This is it. Will we put the wild book on the pedestal? Yes. ID Professor Turo, access granted. Yes, you're emerging. It's shut down. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Uh oh. Shutdown commanding overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Sitano. AI Turo switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Uh oh. This is bad. Please. Defeat me. Oh boy. At last. At last my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. Oh boy. Now epic battle music. Oh, this is epic. Look at the twitching. It's scary. AI Tura initiated the battle. Look at him. Frightening. What does the Pokemon have from the future? Here it comes. Iron Moth! A robotic Volcarona! Uh, 
I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about it. Anyone get in where you my goals? Oh boy. He has six Pokemon. And the first one is an Iron Moth. A robotic Volcarona. 66 as well, which is scary. The Volcarona. Looks like it'll be a fire type because of the orange patterns. What is the other type though? We don't know. Let's go with Earthquake. Fairy Dance, which we expected. Maybe special attack. This is the power that this new holds. Splendid! Earthquake. And that's gonna kind of one shot it. The reason is because Iron Moss secondary type is poison. Now this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? But some sort of error has occurred here. Calculating for critical damage. Yeah, it's a bit funny. If you're able to one shot Pokemon or no weaknesses and then critical hits, he will respawn kind of funny. Next up is Iron Thorns. Another Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Iron Thorns. Could that be? Let's actually stick with Clothesire. Here he comes. Oh boy! A robotic Tyranitar! Oh my god. Now luckily for us though, Tyran this Pokemon has same weakness same issues and weaknesses with the ground that you want to have before. So from an, from a robotic uh Volcarona to a robotic Tyranitar. What does weakness does it have? He knows Earthquake, which is bad. Be weak to ground as well. You imagine you can beat the data at my disposal with your human brain. I do. Because Iron Thorns is four times weak to ground. The dual typing is rock and electric. Knock on Iron Bundle, we know that one already. That's the dual type ice and water. Kotsar is immune to water but weak to ice. So you have to be careful. Azumarill is good, but remember, freeze dry is negative here, bad here. Let's go in Pomot. Pomot has two things to do super effective damage to it, so let's do that. Here it comes. Iron Bundle. Sand bundle we already know from before. Dual type ice and water. It does know freeze dry. Freeze dry is effective against water Pokemon, so the only Pokemon in my team that is not weak to it is actually only Palmot. Azimaril weak to freeze dry, Clothesire is weak to ice, mean to water. Scale Dirge is resistant to ice, weak to water. Garganical is weak to water, and Bramble Gas is weak to ice, but resistant to water. But Palmot doesn't have any of these weaknesses. And we have bo both fighting and electric are super effective against um, against these typings. Fighting is super effective against ice, and electric is super effective against water. Double shock and close combat both have the same bonus, like damaging. 120 from both, so they're both as effective. Doesn't really matter which one you use. And the problem is that you can't use double shock twice because you can, but you won't gain the bonus from it. And close combat will cause you to reduce stats. So it can be dangerous if you don't if you do not one hit KO it. So let's go double shock. Snow escape. Sort of the snow. Double shock. That's a KO. So now it's snowing has a new effect in this game. This is used, so we have to switch up home mode now if you want to keep electricity. Which we will. So basically, now it's snowing. Snow is now is now the old hail effect. Except it doesn't do damage every turn. Instead, snow causes uh, ice Pokemon to get a big boost in defense. That's pretty much it. Let's go with Garganical, because Iron Jugulus is next. Iron Jugulus is a dark flying dual type, no longer dragon, which means now weak to rock. Garganical is a rock type. Let's 
having a Garganic. Garganic is a great Pokemon tanking wise because he's immune to status effects, which is really nice. You need to worry about burn or poison or sleep, anything like that, he's immune. Right, we have three more Pokemon to, to defeat. So, Earthquake in no effect because it's a flying type. Heavy Slam, normal, and Hammer Arm, normal. But Stone Edge, on the other hand, super effective. And we're also Rock type, so we do bonus damage. Same type attack bonus, the stab bonus. Flash Cannon though, watch out. It's effective, it's a steel type move, but he's not a steel type himself though. So damage is not that high, but Stone Edge, ah, uh, the accuracy is going to linder us. Oof. Now we got special defense reduced as well, we'll take more damage from Flash Cannon now. We'll try. We survive. Oh, close. Stone Edge Blade this time though. Boom! KO! It's so hard. Critical hit as well. Yeah, Stone Edge has increased critical hit chance, which is really nice. Massive damage. Next up is Iron Hands. This is the um, Hariyama Pokemon. This is a dual type fighting and electric. So ground is very good, but being warned. You can also use... Yeah, you know, fighting is really good to hear. Um, it's basically the same. It has the same typing as uh, Pomal, actually. It's both electric fighting both of them, so it doesn't really matter here. Rumble Gas is okay, because electric moves doesn't really do damage to grass types, but be careful. Organical is weak to uh, weak to it. Same with uh, Arsimeril. You have to go with Bramble Gas, though. Iron Hands. This is the Hariyama Pokemon. So this is a dual type electric and fighting. We don't have anything too effective against though, but we will be reducing damage against electric attacks at least. And we're also immune to fighting. Which is the reason why I want to use Bramble Ghast here. In fact, I want to take this turn to actually heal up our Pokemon now. Let's go with Max Potion on to uh, Garganical. On Iron Head. Steel move. Doesn't really do that much damage. Does some damage, but not too much. Let's also Max Potion on to Cloud Sire as well. Cloud Sire was very useful in the first few turns. And again. Does some more damage there. The snow stopped, which doesn't really bon affect now because there's no more ice Pokemon on the field. I think we're gonna get KO'd now. Because I think we're slower. No, we're of course we're not slow, we're much faster. Mm. Let's take a chance to go for Power Whip. It comes. Some damage. Right now, we KO us. Do about it. Alright, so electric and fighting. Weak to um, psychic, for example, weak to ground. Outsider can do the good damage here. Same with Paul mod as well. Organical, but Bugger for Garganical is weak to fighting. It's getting Paul mod. Now we have fighting electric versus fighting electric. Let's go with uh, let's go with Dick. Punch. Not gonna work. Dig though. Oh, no. Didn't kill it, but did some damage at least. Drain Punch, which is a fighting move that also restores health based upon damage dealt. Not too worried though. Let's see. Um, Let's just do Dig again. Should be fine. Game punch comes in. It's going to miss. Here comes Dig. And that's gonna KO. So that's good. That's five down, but we all still have one. And this is the best Pokemon he has in his team. This is Iron Valiant. 
is the strongest of the Paradox Future Pokemon. This one might be scary. How scary is it though? Hmm. Let's see. Let's try out Garganical. Here it comes. Who is his final Pokemon? Everything is proceeding with my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Here comes Iron Valiant, and it is! Oh my god! It's not just a robotic Galade, it's a robotic Mega Galade with a spear or a polearm or whatever weapon he has in his arm. That's a frightening thing. A robotic Mega Galari. And also has the boost energy, it's gonna de deal more damage, so be careful here. So this one has some weird typing. We'll use Heavy Slam. Brick Break. And Fighting Move. Super effective. Heavy Slam. Oh wow, the damage is good, but not enough. It will, it will be killed here, most likely. Should we heal up our phone by Pokemon meanwhile? We can try to heal up um Rumble Guest. Rumble Guest is very fast, so it can go first, it'll be nice. Quick break again. We KO the Garganical. This Pokemon is very strong. It also adds boost energy now does more damage. This Pokemon is also very fast. Very, very fast. I'm gonna take a risk here. I don't see a Bramble Gas is faster than this one. I'm gonna go with Phantom Force. Nope, it's faster than Spirit Break. Oh, we survived with 1 HP! Oh, Bramble Gas loves us so much, he was willing to hold on. Thank you, Bramble Guest. Phantom Force is gonna vanish. Speed Break is gonna miss because we're not there. Will this Phantom Force KO it though? The question is yes, it does. The answer is yes. Iron Valent is dual type Psychic and Fairy. So it has some weaknesses, but yeah, we killed it. Impulse. Oh, we got fried. Oof. And now what's happening now? Time machine stops or what? No, it's a little dark in there. Did we stop the time machine? What's going on? Sitano! Here comes the other guys. That's good. But, how this ends, next episode, everything ends. That's right. We're not done yet. There is more. We're running out of time, and this episode is going to be too long if I keep on going right now, guys. So we have to split this one in two. So, part two of the epic finale is next episode. Because the last episode will probably be like 40 minutes long. Next episode, guys, we're going to see the conclusion of the storyline. What happens now? We beat Turo. But is that really the end? <laughs> oh no. There's more. More knee jerking. More tears. More drama. What will it be? You'll see. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And ask me if I'll see you next time as my journey in Pokemon Violet continues. Oh boy. <laughs>